No, we're back. We're back. Let's get Chrom in here. Let's get Roman in here, and let's get I'm Omega in here. In here. I can turn the T baby cam back to 1080p. Definitely the worst thing ever is the middle of a tournament, and the the internet goes out. There's probably worse things, but yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, for for running an online tournament, I'm I'd much rather. It go out beforehand so I could be like, oh, this sucks, people, but I uh, can't run it. Instead of just being like, no, it's, uh, we're literally in the middle of top eight. And, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but welcome back, everyone. I'm sorry about that. That was definitely just out of my hands. At least it wasn't too long, though. We good. We good. Yeah. I'm very thankful that it was not very long. We got Omega. We got FX Karama. I don't know if I've seen these two fight before. I don't think I have either. Don't know what Dearest is chiming in the Ultra Fight Discord. There's a Warrior no, 64. Why are you posting links and. Okay, when an oversold Killer Instinct units are canceling orders with a 25. That sucks. Damn. They sold so many that they sold too many. All right, we got Fulgur, we got Gargos. I've heard people say Fulgur wins this matchup. I think it's even from what I've seen. I think, like, yeah, Fulgur can definitely pressure Gargos really well, but Gargos has got a lot of good options against Fulgur, in my opinion. I do not have a strong opinion. Gargos can steal the pips like he just did right there. Fulgur has a hard time answering people right above his head. How many Minions pips does he steal? Hard one. Just like one or two, I think. I don't actually know. I would assume they well, actually have a. We uh, at least I've seen a bit of uh, a little bit of rollback frames. I'm assuming between them though, they're both in South America. It should be not looking too rollbacky for me. It's not crazy, but there's definitely some rollback frames. Mm -hmm. Should be dead. Dials all Karama and the minions out. Like if you suck some Fulgur's meter and he just can't build a bar, sometimes that's really hard for him to escape when there's like two minions on him, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. A lot of portal punch. A lot of portal punch is mega unsafe on block. It's like minus 11 or something. Minus yeah, I'm not sure how much experience Omega has in this matchup. He's looking a little yeah, lost. Like, he's patient, but yeah, he's just holding back. Not really doing much. Overhead incoming. Nice block. Nice yeah. anti the shadow. And Gargos can low profile. A lot of full reset with that. Standing heavy kick. Both minions are gone though, but one's coming out. We got a boy. A boy child. Oh no, he looked out. He's probably dead now. Oh, what? Mm, not he quite. He was. He could have wanted, wanted a shadow. He had to win. But... Yeah, that's what I thought. But I, I mean, he, it's, it's almost impossible for him to lose this. It would be really impressive if Omega brought this back. It would be a heck of a comeback, yes. Damn, uh, quite a showing from Kurama there. Supreme victory. I think it might mostly be like Omega, Omega just, he mostly just held back during that entire match. Yep. I don't know if he <laughs> really data. knows what to do. I've definitely, Blocking's like, I've good, seen like Nikki and Fluffy play this match before, and they go on like full chaos mode. There's teleports oh, yeah. happening everywhere, Gargos is in the air all the time. Nikki's trying to avoid blocking anything. Yes, Petropolis is in there. Y'all will play next on stream. I didn't tag it, but that's that's what's going to happen. Sorry, Ooh, I nice keep... Punish. I got a little distracted with losing my internet for a while. <laughs> it's okay. You're back. We're back. We are Tournament back. Is live. That's hey. a punish. Nice. Oh, I didn't get the ground to punish, but... Still pretty good. Got to punish regardless. Yeah, Mega definitely trying to play this very defensively. I'm not sure how well it's working out because he's just not really reacting to these offense. Oh, that hit. But also another problem is that Mega is just not able to get any spin speed. So he's just yeah. gaining nothing on the meter. 
And then if Zaros is taking it, that makes it even worse. Wow, that traded. No shadow counter. Counter hit. Big lockout. Doesn't have the meter to really make it hurt, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a chip out. I don't think he really could have done anything, honestly, in that moment. Yeah, that shadow is 8 after the freeze, so like you can usually stuff it, but if you've got armor, right, you can't stuff it unless you have... There's no heavies faster than 8, but some heavies can low profile it, like Wolf can sweep, but I don't think Fulver can do anything, no. Reset with the command throw, I like it, it's like plus 4. Still in the pip. Overhead! Walking, nice punish. Big heavy manual. Oh, it could have killed, why didn't you kill? I like the patience there, oh no. I don't know if that was on purpose, but that was smart to use Shadow Blade Dash. Mm -hmm. Get through the minion. Get through the minion. Get, get a hit on the minion, get through it. Nice, Blade Dash into the deep tip cancel. Overhead, nice. There's a big lock, you can definitely make this work. No punish on that. I like it if being far just... away from Mark Argos for this, though. Yeah. You can try it. Definitely I don't think you don't... can really zone him, though. Heavy laser is too big. Hype Beam is pretty funny if you have Hype Beam, but yeah, if you don't yeah, have Hype you Beam. Yeah, can't block it. Yeah. If you block one of those portal punches and do a reversal Hype Beam, it's pretty funny. Yeah, thrown out of it. <laughs> that looks a pretty 20 sick. 20-frame startup move. DP. But he gets hit out of the DP. Oh? All right, can he uh -oh. cook? Let him cook. You know he's going to do the crouching heavy kick. Uh, yeah. Standing heavy kick, sorry. I wonder if there's a good timing to, like, get by that. Uh, what you do is if you think he's going to do it, just shoot it, be in front of him out of range, and just punish it. It's mega punishable on Wiff. But you can yeah, that too. That's definitely... I was saying, like, uh, Kaigi didn't have it, but there is a teleport timing against Kim Wu where she'll parry the plasma bolt, but Fulgore won't get hit. But that's probably not a meaty teleport timing, though, right? So for, like, you're, you're kind of baiting the Kim Wu. Yeah, probably, in a way. Bushido yeah. X5071, thank you so much for following. If you do that light teleport timing, I'm guessing you're like probably not plus, but maybe safe, but maybe even punishable. It's not. It it seems pretty instantaneous. Like uh, it feels like BS. Whatever it happens to me. Damn. I can see it. All right, this Fulgor rush down. I like it. So what you want to do? Oh, I get thrown out of his pressure. Nice check. No confirm. Oh no. Punish. Mega's just having a hard time getting stuff started, and when he has, he just sort of is like, just let Gargos out for no reason. He is starting to try to be a bit more wild, not just hold stuff. Oh, that's right. Oh, he picked up the minion on accident! Nice blocks. Oh, he gets hit by the Heavy Reckoning. That's a punish. Medium. I can see Heavy Reckoning being an issue for full core, because uh, how his DP travels. Yeah, like, obviously sure backdash, but backdashing is hard. That's a it is. Light triple's broken. Nice. D I like that pip cancel. That was really good. Hit the minion, pip cancel, get the DP. Now you gotta worry about this instinct. Oh, he oh. wasn't holding the. Was, I think he's holding the. crouching up. medium kick goes so far, and that's gonna take the bar. One of the best seven frame buttons in the game. One of the best lows in the game, for sure. That's a confirm. Nice. Okay, here's the thing, though. Once Fulgore starts getting going. That's is that a, a punish! Heavy? No, that's a laser. It was heavy laser, yeah. Minus 11, but what are you going to do? Yeah, just hold that. Don't even try. Take the chip. It's not that much. Oh, I could, yeah. Now, uh, unfortunately, you do get have to deal with the minions, but uh, getting close with the armor uh, Gargos is terrifying. It can be tough, yeah. I usually want armored Gargos to try to come to me. Nice plus frames. Nice check on the teleport. It's definitely not safe after those lasers on block. No. Wow, what a juggle! Still in all the pips! Man can't get pips. He didn't block the overhead! Nice one chance. Close him. Get some behind. Oh, <laughs> he didn't want that. He definitely wanted to pick up Volgor there. But it worked oh, out. Volgor wasn't ready for it. Nice break on the light. Stand. Gives him one more chance to live. But the Shadow Counter is going to do it. He could have popped Instinct, but I think he was playing that mind game of am I going to pop Instinct or not? I mean, that was kind of like visualizing your, your winning condition, like, 
him getting continuous pressure off that was definitely more uh, in line with like him actually winning the match as opposed yeah. to having the op. Or you don't Good show from Omega. It's Unfortunately, nice. he didn't get to have another match in the loser side. Mm -hmm. So maybe he might not have been as hot as he might have wanted to be. Yeah, Omega did nice though. That definitely looks like a very sure. specific matchup that might be hard to hit. Like, if you don't have a lot of experience. Like, it can be tough to play as Fulgore, I think. I definitely mean, even Nicky has issues with it. I've seen him um, yeah, for sure. play that before and look a little lost. Against, yeah, Fluffy or Rico Suave back in 2017 and Wheels at Twitch Rivals.